Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Theta. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. And if you haven't seen the previous update, make sure to watch that before watching this one. It's going to be linked in the top right hand corner of the screen. Now, let's jump straight into the TA. Taking a look at Theta here on the weekly chart, real quick, I want to uh, take a look at some of the long term targets that we have for the next bull market. So what we've done is we've taken the we've taken the swing low here in December last year and the swing high here in March of 2021. And we have our 1.618 Fib level at 74 or $75 roughly. And uh, if this is the price that we're going to be getting to, then that would mean that theta would be sitting at a 74 to 75 billion market cap. If we go to the coin market cap page, you can see that the entire supply is already out in circulation, which is amazing, which means there is no dumping of tokens, no unlocks, no nothing. And this actually makes me very bullish. And personally, I don't have any theta at the moment. Once I dollar cost average into all the other old coins that I'm buying in right now, I might consider getting a nice bag of theta because, you know, the tokenomics are really good. And the project is really interesting. And I do think there's going to be demand since, uh, you know, going into gaming and streaming. I think all of these things are going to benefit Theta and the way uh, all these plat social media platforms are looking to get decentralized and the way streaming is, is being one of the main uh, earning platforms for a lot of gamers. And, uh, you know, streaming in general is getting very popular. So that's why I think Theta might be doing very well the next bull market. So that's just a quick little update on that. Let's jump into the daily chart here. Taking a look at Theta, you can see that we're pulling back down on the exact same trend line that we talked about in the last update. As you can see, the yellow support trend line, we bounced off of that. We're already seeing a move to the upside here, a little 6% bounce to the upside. But this is just because we were very oversold. As you can see on the daily RSI, we even entered the green support block here. So this is just a little move to the upside before we eventually continue down, in my opinion, because I don't think we're going to have a lot of bullish news coming out. If you've been paying attention uh, to the news, then you obviously know that Silvergate and uh, all the Silvergate news and the inflation data is, is horrible right now. So I don't see an incentive or a foundation that is going to push us to the upside. So this was a nice relief rally, obviously, but... Um, you know, we're pulling back down and hopefully we don't lose this December low. That would be very negative. However, if we were to see a black swan event, you know, like we saw in March of 2020, if we were to see a flash crash or any Binance or significant Tether FUD, those are very interlinked companies. So if one of them goes down, probably the other one will. But we cannot imagine what are the possible damages uh, that could be done to the crypto space after Bitcoin or after Binance goes down. Now, obviously, Bitcoin doesn't need Binance. However, it is a very, very essential part of the crypto space at the very moment because most of the money on the centralized exchanges is actually going through Binance. So with that going down, with Tether going out, you know, things are going to be shifting very quickly. But you can obviously imagine the type of sell pressure we're going to have in that moment of time. So Hopefully that doesn't happen, uh, you know, anytime soon, but obviously shady people need to get what's coming to them. So I think at some point, you know, in the next maybe five, maybe 10 years, I don't know, but I think they're going to get their comeuppance. Hopefully, uh, you know, uh, Bank Friedman is, is going to get his comeuppance as well. Hopefully he doesn't get to walk after what he did with FTX, but some people are actually saying that he might walk after it. And I wouldn't be surprised, obviously, it's all rigged. So, you know. It is what it is, not not to jump into that too much. So as you can see, our technical target here was sitting all the way up here at $1.68. Unfortunately, we were not able to reach that. Some altcoins did break out of their falling wedge patterns and they were able to meet their technical target. Some of them did not as theta here. What we were also expecting is with this move to the upside, we might get to the pink trend line and back test that as resistance because we really haven't done that since this uh, since this move below it in May of 2022, since that Terra Luna crash. So uh, yeah, we are pulling back down. I do think we're going to be 
coming back into the falling wedge, maybe even bouncing off of the yellow support trend line if things go south. But for now, anything below a dollar, in my opinion, is very cheap. So if you want to be dollar cost averaging, or if I was dollar cost averaging, I would probably be buying at these prices. And taking a look at the daily RSI, like I said, we're already back in the green support block. And historically, if you look at the green support block, every time we were in it or even below it, those were good buying opportunities. So right now, Theta is very oversold. As you can see, we had this massive drop to the downside. So hopefully we stay here for a little while and hopefully everyone gets a chance to get into Theta. But I'm just saying that if you were buying here while we were sitting at the overbought in January, you know, it's going to be pretty stupid not to buy in while we're sitting here in the oversold in March. Just saying. Now let's switch over to the Binance weekly chart. And before we continue with the video, guys, I quickly want to give a shout out to everyone who has joined my Patreon. Thank you very much. And if you want to become a part of the Patreon and, uh, you know, get access to a lot of exclusive content, such as podcast episodes for patrons only, my trade alerts, my entire portfolio, I share everything that I buy and everything that I sell. If you want to leave some requests, we can take a look at your projects on Patreon. So there's a lot of cool stuff going on there. I try to do daily updates and daily posts in there. So if you want to try it out for free, you can do that as well. There's a seven day free trial, so you can do that. And let me know what you think. Let's get on with the video. Taking a look at Theta on the weekly chart, as you can see, we have a Fibonacci retracement. And this is the exact same fib we actually had on the other chart. So we're going to remove that. We don't really need it. And what happened here is we ran into this resistance block that we have. So sitting anywhere from $1.52, roughly $1.55 actually, all the way down to $1.08, we have this resistance block that we just back tested as resistance once again. And we're coming back down. We're bouncing off of this pink trend line, which is the exact trend line we had on the previous chart. And I do think if we're going to be seeing a stronger pullback, I do think 73 cents here is going to be an amazing entry. Potentially, we could be printing a very nice double bottom pattern if we do drop all the way down there. That's going to be a very nice double bottom pattern if that happens. If we hold this low, obviously, we need to hold that low in order for this to play out accurately. So from that all the way down to the neckline if we place that to the upside we could be looking at two dollars and ten cents after we break the neckline if we come back down here right so first of all we need to come back down here and then we need to break this high and that way we can target you know two dollars and ten cents before any of that happens that's just pure speculation at this point so i would say all of this area here is a good buying opportunity if we drop below 73 73 cents obviously a lot of people are going to come out and start saying that theta is a scam whatever. I mean, people are going to come up with a lot of excuses just not to buy into the project or just to, you know, just to say stuff for the sake of saying it. So I, I'm just saying that if you are bullish on a project, don't really pay attention to those comments because they're meaningless, right? You have your own strategic plan. If you've done your research into the project, you know the team, you know what they're doing, you know the niche that they're in, and you know that that's going to be big in the next three to five years, then obviously, you know, it doesn't matter what they say. You just dollar cost average in and uh, you wait for the bull market. Taking a look at the weekly chart on the RSI, you can see we're pulling back down to the support trend line. Now, this is where we might see a little bounce, in my opinion. So if we come back down to that pink trend line, we might see a little move to the upside on theta. So that would potentially be a nice entry if you're looking for a swing trade. I wouldn't be risking it. Obviously, with all the bearish news that are coming out, we might just do something like this and then continue down. So you don't want to be stuck with your money if you're not looking to hold long term. So be careful with that. We could also come back down to this lower pink trend line, which has been our support ever since June of 2022. We bounced off of it in December just a couple months ago. And from there, we obviously had that move to the upside. So if we end up moving back to the pink trend line. Great. If we drop even lower, then you have this channel down pattern and you have the support of that channel down pattern. So potentially on the weekly, we could be moving somewhere down here, which would be very negative. I think in that case, something very massive has to happen for altcoins to drop that low on the weekly chart. But that's been it for the for the TA for Theta this week. 
If I missed out anything important on the charts, please let me know down below in the comment section. Let me know what are your long-term targets for Theta, and I'm going to see you in the next update. Take care.